And we now have more details on a roadblock for those looking to change Arkansas's current Freedom of Information Act laws. Attorney General Tim Griffin has rejected a proposed ballot item intended to strengthen FOIA. The group submitted the finalized proposal to the Attorney General's office two weeks ago, but now they'll have to go back to the drawing board. 5 News reporter Kayla Davis gives us a look at what comes next in the process. The fundamental premise is that government transparency is a right of the people of Arkansas. And what we're doing is ensuring that to the extent the government transparency laws and exist in Arkansas right now, they can't be weakened without the approval of the people of Arkansas. That's the goal of Arkansas Citizens for Transparency. Senator Clark Tucker is a member. This week, Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin rejected the group's FOIA amendment proposal. The letter stated undefined terms including the phrases government transparency and notice meetings and records would likely give voters serious grounds for reflection. In our view, that's a pretty clear term. It's obvious what it means. Now members of the ballot committee are contemplating their options, which include submitting one or multiple revised amendments back to Griffith's office or even legal action. We're of course contemplating the uh, possibility of litigation filing a lawsuit to get this on the ballot. Tucker says the group is racing against the clock to get this proposal approved. They must gather 90,000 signatures from Arkansans before this summer for this amendment to be on next November's ballot. Every day that we're not gathering signatures, makes it tougher. So we want to, time is of the essence. I think we'll submit uh, an alternative an alternative proposal soon. I don't know exactly when, um, but we are working on it very uh, expeditiously. Covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News. Well, this amendment proposal comes after Governor Sanders' special session back in September to make revisions to the state's FOIA laws. Tucker says the committee's efforts include politicians on both sides of the aisle. They hope to protect the balance of power between the people and legislature.